Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorites, all my favorites for the month of December. I'm, I don't have a cup of tea this time. I'm actually sipping on like this Fresca. It's called the sparkling. Oh, actually it says a flavored soda. Oh my God. All this time I thought it was a little bit too good to be seltzer water. Like it had a little too much flavor. Okay, very misleading. Anyway, I was about to say that I was having a seltzer water, but <laughs> apparently I'm not. I'm drinking a flavored soda. I already had four cups of tea today, so I'm trying to, to kind of wean off of it for the rest of the day. Um, I feel like this time of the year, I need extra caffeine to stay awake and alive. And I actually wanted to ask you guys because I feel like I pretty much run everything through you guys. I feel like lately I've been having a hard time managing like my stress and my anxiety and that, um, I don't know, I've kind of been extra sensitive lately and letting everything get to me and just my mental health could be in a better place. So I was doing a little bit of research online and I came across a place that's about like a 10 minute drive from me that's a meditation and yoga center. And I read the reviews online and all these people were saying that it was so amazing that it's not anything for like working out to help you um, lose weight or tone your body or anything like that, but there is some light stretching and yoga but it's mainly meditation and it's supposed to be on the website, it says like working out for your mind. And all these reviews had people saying that it helped with their stress, with their anxiety, with their aggression, um, with their overall mental health. So I'm thinking of giving it a try and signing up for classes, but I wanted to ask you guys if any of you um, like meditate or take yoga classes and if it helps with your you know, like everyday stress. But anyway, that's that's not what the beginning of this video was supposed to be about. Um, we're doing monthly favorites. I don't have everything piled up behind me because I've been getting a few complaints. Um, normally, on my monthly favorites, I pile everything behind me so you guys can get a little bit of like a sneak peek of what's coming up. But um, some of you guys were complaining that when I piled everything behind me that it was too messy and it was giving you anxiety. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Sometimes I can be OCD and things like that could bother me too. So instead, just for you guys, I have everything piled down there on the floor and on my dresser over there so you guys don't have to see everything piled behind me. So without further ado, let's jump into the monthly favorites. Mm. That's what happens when you send a man to do grocery shopping. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about are, I have seen these things going all over like on Instagram and I just recently got a chance to try them out and they are seriously life changing. This is, oh, hold on, everything's, everything's falling. All right, I'm gonna show you guys like this and I'm very upset that I'm wasting a pair right now, but you guys are worth it. These are called oxygen eye masks. They come in a box like this. I will leave the website down below because these are a little bit hard to find. These are called the V2 oxygen eye mask and basically what these are, are little eye masks that you apply. Okay, look, I'm really gonna show you guys. They're actually little eye masks that you apply underneath your eyes when you're going to sleep for eight hours. And underneath it has this little jelly, very, very sticky lining that's filled with vitamins, antioxidants, proteins, botanicals, peptides, fatty acids, all these things that are supposed to be amazing for your under eyes. So it's like a very cooling, sticky gel, and it's supposed to help to treat fine lines, puffiness under the eyes, darkness. Basically, they just target any problems that you might be having in your under eye area. You do look a little bit crazy, you pop them in just like that and you go to sleep with them like that. But I'm telling you, when you wake up in the morning, your eyes feel so refreshed. It's like a very cool jelly and it feels so good on the eyes. I did actually get a $5 discount for you guys, so I'm going to post that down below. So the next favorite that I wanna talk about is something for the skin. Now, this is a foundation and I know I just did it. I just did it, <laughs> really? I just came out with an updated foundation routine for lazy girls, um, and that was my powder foundation routine. Now, I was really torn when I was coming out with that video because I could go one or two ways. I was, I ended up doing the Studio Fix MAC powder foundation, but I was thinking about doing the my other one of my other favorite foundations, which is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. And basically, you apply this the same exact way that you apply a powder foundation, but the powder foundation ended up winning because it kind of is a little bit longer lasting and maybe a little bit faster in the morning. The Dream Matte Mousse though is definitely also a favorite this month. If you guys want me to do a video on it anyway, even though it's the same thing as my powder foundation routine, I can definitely do it for you guys. Mine is in the shade Nude Light and this is something that came out maybe like seven years ago and I, I actually did not like it when it first came out because I felt like the coverage it wasn't good enough. Um, but now that my skin, I still do have like a little bit of hyperpigmentation and redness, but I don't need full, full coverage. So I really do like this stuff for like every single day. Um, I do find that it gives a medium 
buildable coverage, but in order to get full, full coverage, you kind of have to build it up two or three layers. Basically, the main reason why I love this foundation so much is because it has such a matte finish to it. It's actually a silicone based foundation. So if you guys see right here, it looks like it has a spongy type of appearance to it and it feels, you guys know how like Benefit Pore Professional feels, that very silicone slippy feel. That's how this feels. So because of that, it really helps to blur out any fine lines. I use it underneath my eyes and especially on my pores. I feel like out of all the foundations that I've ever tried, this is the most pore minimizing foundation ever. It just glides right over them and it's kind of like a primer and a foundation in one. That's why I really do love it. Again, I was really torn. I didn't know if I wanted to come out with the powder foundation routine or the mousse foundation routine. But again, if you guys want to see that, I don't want to be too repetitive, but if you guys let me know that you still want to see that, I can definitely do a video on this. I just basically put it on, buff it out, don't set it at all. It sets like powder. It's it's amazing. And the brush that I use to apply it is by Real Techniques and it is called their buffing brush. It's perfect because it fits like right into the jar. Good stuff. I like these brushes. Next favorite, I just did a video on this and I have been getting so many compliments from you guys lately on my skin. Yes, the Accutane absolutely transformed my skin, but then it was kind of like I was left on my own after to treat the scarring that was left behind. And I feel like I've tried a lot of things. I was considering laser, but I've decided not to go that route just because I feel like my skin has gone through so much that I really don't want to put it under a laser to get rid of these scars. My doctor is trying really hard to push it on me, but I really, it's $2,000 and that's just for one treatment and you could need up to four treatments. So it's something that I really don't don't want to do so I am trying to treat it at home um, and naturally so I've been using oatmeal and I'm telling you guys I, you guys have been again complimenting me so much since I've been using the oatmeal this is actually how I store it in my shower because I like to wash my face in my shower and I basically I show you exactly how I do it in the video I pour some into the palm of my hand and I basically just scrub it all over my face I let it sit there for like a good two minutes before I go ahead and rinse everything off and I'm telling you that oatmeal has been doing wonders for that hyperpigmentation for the scarring the uneven complexion and my skin has been getting a little bit irritated and itchy lately and nothing has been helping it like oatmeal please Check out that video if you have like finicky, sensitive skin. I love it. I love you. Guys, this is type annoying. Every single time that I gotta switch to the next product, I'm like bending over into the ground and then I have to sit back up and refocus my camera. So let me know if the items in the background really bother you that much because this is a pain in the ass. Next, you know it can't be a Mommy True Love favorites video if I don't talk about liquid lipstick. So I, I'm gonna be talking about what I have on my lips right now, another liquid lipstick that I've been loving and I will show you guys close up swatches of this. So what I have on my lips right now is the Dose of Colors Truffle. This has been sold out for the longest time. I paid $45, I think this retails for 20 or 25. I paid $45 to get this off of eBay because I really wanted to make sure that I got it from a good seller, that it wasn't a knockoff. And you know what you guys, I have to say that I actually kind of regret it because it's very, very similar to another liquid lipstick that I have. Um, I am gonna show you guys a swatch. I do want to say that the longevity is amazing. It doesn't transfer as much as the other liquid lipstick that I'm gonna show you guys, but the color is just so, so similar that I feel like I always buy everything in the same freaking color in like a hundred different formulas. It's it's a problem. Since I bought it on eBay, I cannot return it, but I definitely am going to use it up. The other combination that I have been loving is the combination that looks a lot like truffle, and that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hollywood, or So Hollywood, Pure Hollywood, yeah, Pure Hollywood. It's a lot lighter, but I put it over a lip liner that helps to darken it up, and when I use the two of these together, it's the same exact thing as truffle. The lip liner is Boldly Bare by MAC, I love that color. I've been, I was into really dark lips for a long time. Now I'm kind of more into the brownie mauve color. I was lusting over that Candy K liquid lipstick by Kylie Jenner so much that I was like, you know what? Let me see how much it is on eBay. $300 for a $20 lip kit. I'll wait until January. Next item I wanted to mention because I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys lately on what highlighter that I'm using. I really don't think it's that 
um, well, it's an amazing highlighter, I'm not gonna lie, but I've been using this for a really long time. But you guys just started asking me what highlighter I was using when I started using it with a different brush. So, alright, I'm not even gonna try and find it right now, but I started using it with the MAC 224 brush, which is a really fluffy crease brush instead of a highlighter brush or a pointed face brush. And I feel like since the 224 has a lot more precision, you could see the highlight a lot more. So this is the highlighter that I've been using, and if it's not that one, it's this one by Laura Geller. This is Gilded Honey, and it's their baked highlighter. Honestly, you guys, there's a lot of hype about this highlighter, and it's okay, but it definitely, it, it does not hold a torch to my uh, Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Pop. Look at that. No comparison. All right, last but not least, I have two random products and then a shampoo that I want to show you guys. So, I want to show you guys my new sunglasses. These are by Ferragamo. I'm, I'm not like a big name brand whore, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing them right or not at all. I love them because I am so much like an aviator girl, um, but I also kind of like the look of the flat top. I know you guys can see my ring light over there, but I don't know, I just like the shape of these. I feel like they don't overwhelm my face. Um, I do have a big head though, so it's kind of hard for my face to be overwhelmed. And yeah, pretty much feeling myself. Next is a very random product that I did want to share it with you guys because it is pretty much life-changing. I picked this up from Target and it's from a brand called Connoisseurs and it's called a Diamond Dazzle Stick. And basically what it is is a diamond cleaner um, that comes in a little clicky pen, kind of like a lip gloss, and I use this to clean any of my diamond jewelry, including my engagement ring, any um, earrings that I have, my other little right hand ring, even though this one right here is not like actual diamonds. I got this from the Swarovski store and it works really good. It comes with a blue gel and basically you put it under the sink, you use it to clean off your rings or your jewelry, you let it sit there for about two minutes and then you wipe it off and it puts this coat of like this protected gel over the gems or whatever. I don't really know the science behind it. I might sound crazy right now. Basically, my jewelry has not ever sparkled so much as since I started using this stuff. So I really like it a lot. If you're engaged, if you're married, um, or if you have a lot of diamond jewelry or just crystal type of jewelry, I think that you would really like this. It was like $7 and I picked it up in the jewelry section of Target. And last but not least, I wanted to include this in this video because I get a lot of questions from you guys asking what you can do about a dry, itchy scalp during the winter time. I don't have that problem, but Mike does. And we have found a really good shampoo line that works for the dandruff. The really cool thing about these is one of them includes tar extract and the other one actually includes salicylic acid so it's supposed to help with the flakiness and the itchiness that can be associated with a dry scalp. So these are both by Neutrogena and it's called their tea gel and their tea sal. They both say that they're therapeutic shampoos. One is the original formula and it's for long lasting relief of itching and flaking and the other one is a scalp buildup control and it helps clear and prevent flakes and scalp buildup. On the back it says that these are alcohol free and they are gentle enough for everyday use. So I'm about to actually save these two and put them to the side for my sister that's actually visiting for the holidays because I know every year around the winter time she starts complaining about a dry itchy scalp so if that is something that you guys specifically deal with I did want to give it a quick mention to help any of you guys out there and that is everything that I am going to mention in this month's monthly favorites even though this video turned out extremely long I did not have a lot of favorites to mention just because it's December I haven't really been trying out a lot of products on myself I've been really focused on you know buying Christmas presents and I am hosting Christmas in my house this year so I've been busy with that um, but I do want to let you guys know that I want to come out with a favorites of 2015 video. I'm pretty sure that I want to compile it all into one video instead of coming out with like a video on my favorite foundations, my favorite powders, my favorite mascaras. I feel like I want to come out with the one ultimate mascara, one ultimate powder, one ultimate foundation and put it all in a video like my favorites, my absolute favorites of 2015. So let me know if you guys like the sound of that. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.